push me away. It's all Hi guys, welcome to Meepo Village. Today we're going to be playing Catan in VR. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to apologize because I know when you're sitting and you're looking, it's very easy to see everything. But for some reason when I record, every little movement with my head that I make, it just makes people dizzy. It makes me dizzy when I watch. So I'm going to try to stay as still as I can. <laughs> But, you know, it, it's hard. It's harder than you think. So anyways, I wanted to show you guys we're in this room, but if we want to, we can actually change and play in a different room. Uh, we have three different rooms to choose from. And um, we can also change the art on the walls and uh, make it a little different. Uh, make it so that, you know, you're happy with whichever one you are. Uh, doesn't matter much because you're going to be looking at the board most of the time, but I like that that's available and um, yeah, and all I can see is my hands. I can't see the rest of my body, but <laughs> that's good. So let's get started. And I know most of you are familiar with Catan, so, um, you know, uh, but I'm still trying to explain the rules, uh, the rules as we go for those of you that have never played Catan before. So, okay, so the play the game is, is has to be at least three players. Now, the VR starts you off with uh, three players and, and yourself, so four player four, four player game. I like to uh, bring that down to just three, just to make it easier to keep track of my opponents. Uh, so we're just gonna play with a, in a three player game, and I don't know why my controller is not behaving today. Okay, so uh, this is where you're going to be doing making your selections during the game. Um, nice mountain. Uh, and we have two choices. We can play default or we can play randomized. Now, I usually play randomized, just, uh, but maybe I should do default uh, for those of you that are not familiar with Gadan. But I just feel like, you know, when you go random, it's just, it's, um, you know, every time you play, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a different setup. So, you know, you, oh, and you can actually make it until you like it, which is kind of cheating. <laughs> Anyways, uh, sure, this one. Um, uh, actually, it was terrible. <laughs> Look at all those things together. Let's we'll do one more. Okay, fine. This is more, more spread out. Uh, so we're gonna. Do... They already went. <laughs> not sure what happened here. Let's see. I'm not first player. That's definitely what happened. I think I'm second player because I see one. The red player has already placed their settlement on the board. I don't think the uh, other person has done that. And I'm going to move this over here to where there's no player, so I can have clear line of sight to my other two uh, on the opponents. Okay, so it's our time to build a, build a settlement. And what we're trying to do, like this guy build his settlement here, so he's going to have access to all these three hexes that surround his settlement. And when uh, do, uh, the dice is rolled, if any of these numbers come up, he's going to get resources based on the settlements that he has. Uh, so, for example, if uh, a 9 is rolled, because he has a settlement here next to his settlement, he will get a mountain. Um, and if the 6 is rolled, he will get a wheat. Uh, so, there's five different types of resources on the board. There's sheep, there's ore, there's wheat, mountain, and there's one more. And forest, or wood, I think they call it. But, uh, so thinking of that, I want to try and get as many re as variety of resources as I can with my settlement and also try to get close to high numbers. High numbers are depicted in red, so 8 re rolls a lot, 6 rolls a lot, um, there's, and also these duds help you out. So you can see that the 2 doesn't get rolled very often, or there's less chances of rolling 2. 9s are uh, pretty, pretty high up there. So looking at that i i like this one it has a six it has a nine and it gives me three different resources this one has a, an eight a five and a ten three different resources as well let's see what do i like better forest or mountains um because the thing is after i place my settlement so so the red person which is this girl has placed a settlement uh, then I'm going to place a settlement, then he's going to place a settlement, and then it's going to snake back around. So he'll place another one, I'll place another one, and then she'll be last placing her last one. That way, you know, it gives you... Uh, it's it's not like first player gets all of the goods. Um, so I, they might take 
my other <laughs> um, settlement position. And I do think, and you know, you can let me know what you think in the comments below, but I do feel that in Catan, if you set yourself up at first well, you have a much bigger chance of winning the whole game. All right, so if I go here, I still need mountains and sheep. There's nowhere where mountains and sheep are together except for here. Uh, or here, which is next to the robber. So I don't like that very much. If I go here, I still need sheep and what else do I need? Wheat, which is here and there. Okay, so I think I have a bigger chance. So again, my controller is being really not nice. Let's see if I can make this happen. The houses should start like rolling. Uh, come on, give me a house somewhere. Telling me to put a place uh, settlement on the board, but then you don't let me before I click. So that's where I want it, right? <laughs> and then I've also had to place a road, and the roads are going to connect your settlements. You have to connect, like the next settlement you build has to be connected by a road, and it cannot be built. Like I couldn't build another settlement right here. There has to be at least two roads separate. So since I plan to come up here, right? Over here I guess for the wheat and the mountains I guess we'll go up let's see if it me this is really giving me a hard time today for whatever reason okay there we go all right so after I go to be the other player which is white and then I guess I go oh yeah they build two and then I build another one and yeah I need sheep and wheat so if I come here, I will double down about here. Nice numbers. Put the road there. And now the last thing is okay. Everybody's on the board and we go. We start rolling. First player. Okay, well, when do we my gosh, this, this goes a little bit fast. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I haven't played in a while also. Um so she's asking for um I want one number for one wool. I do have... Oh, I have a lot of stuff already. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I want to trade with her. So if you don't want to trade with her, you just hit the X. And uh, she she gets nothing. All right, it's my turn. So let's take a look. <laughs> because I feel like sometimes the game goes by so quick. If you... if you, I used to play it a lot. And I was really used to it. But now I'm playing it in a while. And it's like, whoa, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I, 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 what's going on? So anyways. So down here... It shows you what stuff you need to build what, and also gives you the amount of resources you're holding in your hand right now. So in order to, like I said, build a se another settlement, which is kind of where you want to go, so don't give me resources, you first have to build a road. A road is a brick or and a wood, and I have that. I have a wood and I have a brick. So, uh, well, I have to roll first, no matter what. I'm going to roll, get some more resources, hopefully, if I roll right. And, um, and then we're going to check out our plans. First I roll, looking on that dice, we get a seven, which is the robber. So it's telling me place the robber on the board. So I definitely want to place the robber in a place where it's going to hinder my opponents, but not me. And I have to remember I'm the blue player, so like don't put it here, because that will affect me. So where can I put it that it affects the, my opponents the most? Um, let's see, first of all, will it ever it even let me? Because it's not. <laughs> I don't see that it's letting me. <laughs> Come on. Oh, here we go. Okay. So, that will affect the red player. Uh, sure. Let's just put it there. And I steal a car from them and I get a mountain. Thank you. So now I have one of each. <laughs> so now I get more options because it's my turn and I get to act. I could trade I and I could build. If I want to trade, I put up here, uh, drag cards here, um, what I want to give my players, and then down here I'll put whatever I want to receive from the players. But I don't want to trade right now, I want to build. And it'll show in uh, highlighted what you can build, and it will be grayed out whatever you can build. So I can't build a settlement because I don't have enough roads. I do have the materials. And I can't build a city because I don't have enough materials for that. But I can build a road, or I can even get a development card, but right now I'm going to build a road. And where am I going? So I already have what I need. Uh, I don't think I want to get my houses together because if I do, I can't build settlements and I want to build another settlement. So I can go here 
take advantage of big numbers. Uh, or I could go here. Where else can I? I think I'm gonna, yeah, I think I'm gonna go here. Let's see if they'll let me cross again. <laughs> Today, for whatever reason, this is not working. My controllers are, are have, have um, charged, so I don't know. Come on, road. Let's do it. There we go. There's <laughs> that. And then if I click the build again, you'll see that I can't build roads anymore because I used to, uh, what do you call it, um, resources. Uh, let me look at my hand real quick. I want to build a settlement, and for that, if you look here, you need sheep, wheat, ore, and wood. I have the two out of the four. So I think I'm going to stop, even though I get a development card. Might be good to get a development card. You know what? Let's do it. Let's see what we get. So development cards. What is it? Oh, I got a knight. It tells me right here what I got. I got a knight. I can use it this turn. I can use it next turn. And if somebody puts the rubber on me, I can switch the rubber and put it somewhere else. Uh, and also, if you have three knights, you start building an army. And that gives you points as well. So let's pass the turn. Let's see what everybody else rolls. Okay, and it highlights the the number. It, it's a it was a ten. So I see that I, what I'm getting. Now he wants one lumber for one wool. I think we can trade with him. Uh, I want. Um, why can we not trade with him? I want to trade with him. Can I not? Try, oh, it's yeah. I can use the the flashing one, which means that uh, immediately you know gives me the options that he wants. And uh, what happened? Oh, I took the wool. <laughs> oh no. I, you got it? No, I didn't get it. Okay. Well, that's okay. I got it anyways. Uh, all right. So she wants a lumber for a grain, but I already have a grain. So no thanks. Tell her no thanks. And is she building something? She's not building anything. All right. So it's my turn to see now the knight is no longer locked. Oh, no, 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 I don't want to use the rubber. Oh, I don't want to use it. Oh, come on. I just wanted to show you guys. Uh, I wish there was a way to go back. But there isn't. So we're gonna have to use it. Okay, well. It's okay. Uh, where can I put them? So I need to move them somewhere. And of course, this thing. Okay, where? Where? I wanna put it there. That's my place. Uh, 12, 5. I mean, I liked it where it was. <laughs> Alright, fine. We'll just put it here. And I'll steal a card. Okay, and I get a grade. And then I can roll. And we got a 12, which is just going to give her a uh, wheat. And uh, I can't build anything, can I? I can't. So we're going to pass the turn. Okay. He wants. Okay, I can do that. I need a sheep. So let's do it. And we have to be quick about it, or else. <laughs> Uh, and he's happy. Uh, very nice. Now we're on our way. We just need bricks. Now I see he got two bricks, so I might want to trade with him. Let's see. Or at least attempt. Okay, I got some wheat. So I got a bunch of wheat, so let's trade. I know that. <laughs> oh my goodness back to here let's trade and let's give wheat so i want to give wheat and i want to get bricks let's see if anybody wants to give me resources oh he says yes okay he wants to trade with me i'll trade with you all right and i could have traded with her as well and now that i have that i can build my settlement and my settlement come on <laughs> come on there we go it's good and now I have more options when we roll. And I don't think I can build anything else. No, I can't. Okay, yeah, because I need a uh, sheep to build a development card. So I think we're going to end our turn. I mean, we have, to, we have anything else we can do. I mean, we could trade again. I guess we could have done that. Okay, so rubber is on the loose, and now I don't have my knight anymore. <laughs> uh, that was terrible. So he wants uh, an ore for one grain, but I need my ore. Uh, so I'm going to say no. They'll, they're gonna trade. <laughs> All right, so yeah, there you go. Somebody build a, a city. This guy's going fast. Um, yeah. It's gonna roll. Okay, I get an ore. Um, 
um, she was an orc for a green, and they want to trade, so you know what? We'll let them. It's fine. Go ahead. This guy's winning, though. I don't like that. <laughs> It's my turn again, and before I do my turn, let me let me show you guys. So up here, on top of their pictures, it tells you what they've got. Well, you can see he has one card in his hand, that's below. But up there, the first number is how many points he's got right now, so he's got three points. Second number is how many development cards he has. He has zero development cards at this point. He's built two roads. You have, I think it's five roads. You have the longest road, and you get points for that. And then he has zero knights, which is, we have one knight, and it should tell us, here, this is where it tells us, we, see we have three points, he has three points, so we're tied, two roads, one knight. She has two points, one development card, we don't know what it is, well, she has, she has played no knights, but she might have a knight in her hand, she just hasn't played it yet. Anyways, so we roll, come on, it's a six, okay, it's sweet, so we still can't build anything, <laughs> Unfortunately, um, we can trade though. Let's try. So we want to build. Want to? We, we, we like. We want to build anything at this point. Let's try and build a development card. Let's see if it works. It says yes. Uh, okay. So let's try here. Got a wood. Why do we get a wood? I don't. Oh, I didn't look. All right, fine. We can build a road then. Let's build a road. Let's keep expanding our kingdom and I think we're going to build it right here uh, sure and that's the end of our turn so there we go why are you not happy <laughs> all right we got or and he wants uh, nope uh, yeah they're gonna trade I don't have what they want so let them trade she's got a lot of cards we Roll a seven to have eight cards for the rubber. Uh, yeah, she stole from me. Ah! <laughs> oh no, she's coming to where I want to go. That's not good because I can't build here because it's too close to this. So I wanted to go up here and build up there. So, uh, but she's beating me to it. <laughs> so, no, I don't want to trade with you because I don't want you to beat me to it. I will still need to build another road and then a settlement, so I don't know that I'm going to make it in time, but let's see what we get. Okay, I cannot build anything, so we're going to pass turn. Get a four, so it's just a sheep for him. And you know, if I was smarter, I would be keeping track of what they've got, because they kind of show you what they've got, right? Kind of tell you. You know, you can see she's getting wheat, he's getting an ore, but I'm not really paying attention to any of that. Oh no, his thing triggered too good for him. Okay, now I need to roll a seven so this guy can lose half half his hand. Uh, an ore for a grain, I don't even have an ore, so I can't. And yeah, it does go fast, I feel like. Um, I, mean, I don't know if it is because I'm talking to you guys. But... Okay, we get an eight, so we're gonna get a mountain, nice. But we still can't build anything. But we could trade now. What do we need? We need a wood. Let's see. Anybody want to trade with me? You have a bunch of cards in your hand. Okay, he, she wants to trade. Let's trade with her. Yeah, okay. And now we can build another road. We can try and fight for the spot. <laughs> Yeah. Um, and I think that's all I can do because I only have two resources left, so it's uh, not worth trading at this point. Uh, nothing. Oh, there's this guy's looking. He's already got four points to my three and to her two. An ore for I don't have that. So I don't have any ore, so nope, we can't trade. Okay, she's gonna roll. Now I have more. <laughs> it looks like I need to be building cities. Everybody's building cities. <laughs> 
All right, let's see. Okay, more ore. Wow, we got tons of ore. So he, I know he doesn't want any ore. Uh, at this point, I can't build anything, so I'd have to trade. Let's see if we can get a development card to get rid of... If we can get a knight, we can get rid of that robber. No thanks. I want one more for me. Okay, sure, let's do it. Okay, so now I can build a development card. And I got a victory point instead of a knight. Okay. And all I have is one resource, so I'm done. I got a wood. Two woods. Okay, nice. <laughs> this guy's at five points already. He's definitely, he's definitely making it. Okay. All right. Uh, I can't use a knight, so we gotta roll. Oh my gosh! I'm just giving him. Look at how many cards he's got. <laughs> what is up with that? Okay. All right. So. Uh, we still need, we need sheep in order to build, uh, that settlement there before she builds it. So let's try and trade. Uh, let's see. Anybody? No thanks. Uh, I want, uh, or I don't have that, so I don't think they're gonna trade with me. I could try again, but I doubt that they're, because they are very stuck in what they want. <laughs> uh, see, he's <laughs> giving uh, nope, okay, so that's not gonna happen. So can I build anything? I can build another road, okay. So I might as well, I don't think, hold on a second, I mean, yeah, I could because I will still have one and one. So we're gonna build a road, where are we gonna build it? Uh, we need to find another place because I don't know that I can compete with red player over there. You might build before I do. Um, let's see, I could, come down here can't build here I could build here I can't because my house is right next to it oh, tough decisions here if I come here I can't build there if I come here it wouldn't be ideal but it could work uh, I would have to come all the way down here all the way down here to build all the way oof, all the way down there mm. okay so we're just gonna build it up here Let's see build it I have to play with my left hand for whatever reason. And I still need uh, one more resource. I need a sheep in order to build a settlement. So let's see if we can get a sheep. Come on. Oh, my sheep's been trapped. That's the problem. So even if I roll it, I'm not going to get it. I would be getting two, but it's probably the wing of my sheep. <laughs> so he wants an ore for a lumber. I don't have ore, so I can't trade with you, sir. All right, uh, he traded with the bank. Good idea because you were you had so many cards in your hand. Okay, more wheat. I don't have ore, so we cannot trade. <laughs> so I'm actually kind of winning if you think about it because I have five. Plus one to my victory point. This one plus one thing. Uh, he only has five and four, but I still don't feel very confident about this. I don't have a knight, so I gotta roll first. Okay. I uh, really wish I would roll a seven so I can uh, get rid of that. So now I have a ton of these, but I still need sheep. So let's try and trade and see if we can get a sheep somewhere. Come on, guys. I know some of you have sheep. Oh. She wants a lump for a grain. I don't need that. So, no. So, what about if I give you an ore? Would that work? I don't want this. No things. And this lady. Okay, so they don't want to try with me. Can I build anything at all? Oh, I can build another road. Okay. Well, this right here will give me these two. I, re I really need more sheep because of that rubber. If I go here, I would have a higher chance. Of, so you know what let's see how many do I have oh no I don't want to get rid of my wood because I need it so I think I'm just gonna pass I, if I get rid of this then I will need a wood and a sheep to build a, a settlement and I'm nowhere near building a city actually but not too bad cities take three ores and two wheat I have two wheat but I don't have any ore whatsoever so I think I'm gonna pass 
I don't know about winning this one. Oh, the six. Okay, more wheat. <laughs> well, now I can trade with the bank. I can always trade with the bank uh, four to one. Or I could trade with him, <laughs> but I don't think so. I think I want to trade my save my wheat so I can trade my sheep. And how many cards do I have in hand? Four, five, six, seven. So I'm still okay. Trade it with the bank. If we get a seven, you're going to be in trouble, lady. And we did get a seven, so she had to get rid of half her cards. If you have more than eight cards in your hand, you go down to half your cards, uh, and the rubber gets, has to be moved. Uh, which is still bugging me, but at least it left my sheep alone, finally. All right, so let's roll. Got a two, which is going to be nothing. <laughs> and they took away my wheat, so I can't trade my four. Oh, my goodness. Are you serious? Okay, I can build another road, but... Uh, see we can trade this let's try that again come on guys anybody no thanks uh i don't i don't want to trade with you lady i really don't okay so let's say no and uh, uh i'm just gonna pass maybe now i can get some sheep come on we're all 11 somebody what's up uh, or a break. No, don't want to do that. They can trade. Okay, you guys trade. Help each other out. Come on. Okay, I'm happy about the ore. I wish I would have gotten another. Uh, come on, give me, give me some. Oh, uh, okay. So I finally have ore. But the problem is, if I trade in my ore, <laughs> I uh, will have enough for the sheep, but then I will need more ore. So let's see if somebody wants to trade me for an ore. Somebody? Anybody? No? Uh, yeah. Okay, let's do it. That's what I need, right? Okay, so now that I have five ores, I can trade with the, you know, I can trade with the bank. Trade with the bank. There it is. At four to one. So I put four of them and I get a sheep. And I say yes. And there's my sheep. Okay. And I'm done. And now I can build a settlement. A settlement. Come on. There we go. My left hand. I'm going to put it right here. Where else? Where is it? Oh, I, want it. I can put it there where the lady hasn't built yet. There yet. So I beat her. Okay. Let's see if I can do it. Oh, come on. There it is. Okay. And now I have seven points, so I'm, uh, the w I'm winning again. <laughs> All right. And uh, I only have two resources left, so it's good for me. I really need people to start rolling 11s. 11 will give me so much. <laughs> All right. He wants, uh, I don't have that, so I can't trade with him. I'm going to be sheepless until we start rolling 11s. Okay, it's a uh, tie with me now at seven points. Got five. Getting some stuff. I like it. Alright, we're gonna try to go for that city now. Let's see. But, of course, we didn't roll good enough. <laughs> but I know she's got some. So let's see if we can trade this. And what I know, actually, this goes up. I need that, right? Yes, I do. Okay, let's see. Do you want to give me some of your ore that you just got? Uh, you do? Okay. So now... Oh, now I need wheat. <laughs> I messed that up. Alright, so I got a fast run. Not playing at the best of my abilities here. Okay, I get a sheep so we can get a development card next time. Uh, uh, no, I don't want to do that. But you guys can trade. I don't remember the amount of points we need to win. Is it 10? I think it's, it might be 10. It's, it's two away. Got a development card. I'm not going to show you. Show us what it is. All right, let's go. Ooh, the rubber. Okay, well, ooh, the rubber is in the best place possible. Uh, let's switch into... I don't know. Come on. Let me grab them. They want me to play with my left hand today, for whatever reason. Let's put them here. 
Okay, nice steel and ore. Okay, more can I build? A development car. Um, is that what I want? I really wanted a city. I will need one more of these. So let's see if we can trade. Let's get rid of that. Get wheat. Anybody? No? One stone. Or a sheep. Uh, no, I can't do that. So, nope. Uh, let's see. What about... Yeah, I think we're just gonna get a development card instead. So. And I got a knight. Nice. That way if the rubber comes back to me, I can get rid of it. So, there we go. Ooh, an 11. My favorite. Look at that. Woohoo! Holy shit. I want one ore for one wool. I have so many, so much wool. I, uh, but I do need... Wait. Um... No, I don't want to get rid of my ore. I need it to build uh, a city. So sorry, dude. Okay, trade, trade with the bank. Good for you. Play a knight. Switch that rubber. Okay. Didn't put it on me, so that's good. Gave it to the to the winner. I thought the guy was winning. So. Uh, okay. One wolf for one lumber. Sure. Why can I one wood for one lumber? Yes. Let's see who he picks. Because <laughs> we're we're both willing to trade. Uh, okay, he picked up. <laughs> sure. I guess she is uh, losing. But she can have a ton of points. She has two development cards in hand. Uh, I don't need to use the knight because the rubber is not bothering me. It's only bothering the white man. So I got a six. Okay, how's that city looking? We need one more ore for that city. So let's trade uh, like that. Anybody? No. I want one green. What she wants? She wants a lumber for one green. I don't have lumber lady. So we cannot trade. Uh, or can we? Why did it have a, a thing? Uh, I'm not sure why. Okay, sorry about that, guys. My phone just rang. <laughs> so, okay. So, what I do, I can build a development card, so let's do it. Uh, what did I get? I got another victory. Okay, so I'm at eight, so we're actually tied. Okay, that wasn't bad, although I did lose a lot of resources. I think I can buy another one. Why not? Let's do it. I got arrow plenty, which I can't use this time, but it'll let me get resources next time. So, we pass the turn. And I'm also doing it because I don't want to be caught with a bunch of resources in my hand. Look, here I come. Okay. And he got a development card, which could be a point. <laughs> I'm doing pretty good on roads. Actually, yes, I have five roads. So I got this, which is also giving me points um, for longest road. Um, that's how I'm getting that plus two. Although I know I have actually... It should be... I don't remember how many points you get for this. And I do think it comes. Oh, I'm not even paying attention to the game. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> okay. But yeah. Uh, so, as, how many rows does she have? She has three. So, I don't think I have to worry about anybody taking this away from me. Uh, I want one wood for one number. Yeah, I can give you. Do we want to do this? Sure, we'll try. I, I know you're not going to trade with me. You're looking straight at her. See? You're, I knew it. I knew you were going to trade with her. Are you not getting infatuated with her or something? What about me? I'm playing too. Why won't you trade with me? Yes, you. Why won't you trade with me? Anyways, I'm not going to question it. I'm just going to go with it. We do have a knight, but it, the rubber is not bothering me. So, Okay. We got tons of wood. We should be able to do something this turn, right? Still would love to build that city, and uh, I've traded all my resources. I do have a year of plenty. I'm just afraid that if I click on it, I'm gonna have to use it. Uh, so take any two resources from the bank. So let's go like this, um, because now we can buy an, another settlement, except that we don't have a place to put it. 
but we do have enough for a road. We do have enough for a development card. Let's see. Let's build a road. Guess we'll go here. And let's buy a development card. We got another knight. So maybe now I can start using knights. And I just have a bunch of sheep. Uh, let's see if people want to trade with me. So what would I want to trade? I want to get one. Let's see if they'll say yes. Oh yeah, okay, they say yes. So I need an ore. So let's get an ore. So I can build another city. No. No. Okay, they don't want. To. Uh and that's really all I can trade because I need the rest. So we're gonna go like that. And later night, he's gonna move the robber. And he put it on my place and he stole a car from me. Okay. But I do have knights, so it's okay. Uh, one ore for one wool. No, I don't think so. 13 cards in hand. Let's roll a seven, somebody. Lumber for grain. Yeah, they can they can do it. I don't wanna give that. So they traded. We're about ready to build our settlement. I can play the knight and get that out of the way before I roll in case we get a 10. So let's put it back to him, I think. Will it let me? Come on. There we go with my left hand. Oh my goodness, why? There it is. Okay, and we still have this card, and now we get to roll, and hopefully I don't roll a seven because I think I have a lot of cards in my hand. I didn't. Okay. So, I guess I think I can build a settlement. Let's check. Yeah, okay. So let's do that. I have to put it there because it's the only we're at nine, so we're winning again. Okay, we got this. And um, what else? I don't think I can build anything else. So let's just go. I could have tried and trade, but I guess I did it. Okay. Two weeks for the lady. If somebody rolls a seven, these people are going to have to like really get rid of some cards. Another development card. I guess it's going to be win. But Monopoly, okay. Monopoly means he steals all of our stuff. Whoever has, I think he said wood, whoever had wood have to give it to him. And I do think I had some wood. Uh, now he wants, of course he wants wood. <laughs> oh, this guy steals the wood and then trades it. How smart. I do think if I play another knight, I will get points because I think I need three knights in order to do that. But I kind of want to hold on to my knight in case they put the rubber on me. Let's try a uh, roll. Okay. And let's see what option. So I could, could build a city now. There it is. Build a city. So let's do it. Where should we build a city? <laughs> uh, I guess probably here. Got to 10 points before everybody else did with just I just needed one more point because of my victory card. So there it is. That's a full run through of Catan. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys understood it. I know it went a little fast, even for me, it was going a little fast. But um yeah, and look, they, they have a whole firework show for the winner. <laughs> look at their faces. <laughs> Anyway, so that's Katana VR, guys. Hope you enjoyed. See you on the next one. Thank you. Play more games.